How do we get data into Plotly? Well, first we could just simply type, type some of our own data. We could import our own data from, say, an Excel spreadsheet, or we could go online to obtain that data. So let's first come up here, and let's say we want to add some data, let's say, from an Excel file that we have. I come up here, I can hit Import from a file. I can bring it in from Dropbox, Google uh, Drive, whatever I want. But in this case, let's upload a file, since a lot of you will have your files you want to mess with on the desktop. Now, I've created a file called Data for Plotly. I'm going to click that, just a typical Excel file. Say Open. It's going to think for a second. And here it is. Boom. So here, in this case, is the date. In this case, we in this um, variable, we have this is the price of fish meal. This is the price of farmed salmon in Norway. And this is the US population. So boom, we got a, a data right like that. Another way we can add data is to come over uh, to where we started from. And we could say, let's start a new grid. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to um, say this is, I don't know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 14, what have you. Type stuff in. 56, 67, 44, 44, 56, 12. I could also have copied from an Excel spreadsheet, come on in and paste it in here. Now, if you do this, you want to make sure you have your uh, columns properly labeled, your variables properly labeled. So I'm going to come up here and hit click rename and going to call this um, uh, first variable and call this my next variable. And I'll just note real quick since we're do messing around with this stuff, we can come up here, we can sort. This is uh, if we want to sort the data by this particular column, etc. The third way I want to talk about how you can get data into your uh, Plotly space really easily is to find data on the web. And there's a lot of different ways you can do that. But let's start with a quick example um, for a company that's been pairing with Plotly that may be of use to you. This is Quandle. Now this is a, a site similar to Plotly in that it's uh, been growing up really quickly, um, coming out of the Canadian um, tech industry. This is really built around financial data, so folks doing market trading, et cetera. So there's not a, a whole lot of stuff that's necessarily available to us uh, or necessarily um, particularly relevant to us in ESRM, but there is some stuff. We could try something like um, uh, something like UN population. And it's going to come up here and give us a bunch of data. I can come up here and, and pick and, and, and drill down through this. Don't want to mess with stuff too much. For, we want to do this quickly. Let's just pick, um, I don't know, this guy, whatever this is, some kind of financial data. You'll notice we get some data here. And uh, there's all kinds of variables. We can mess with it. We can download it in a whole bunch of different files. Uh, Quandle has a script subscription services, um, um, pay-as-you-go services, and then some data is just free. In this case, this is some, some of our uh, free data. I can come up here, though, have a look. Right here, there's a Plotly option. I can actually click this, and next thing you know, that data is right there in Plotly for me to manipulate. So several ways to get data into Plotly. You can type it in directly. You can import it from, say, an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV, or you can actually pull it off the web.